Hey everybody, Justin Cener here. I've got an awesome video, especially for people that are selling on multiple channels. And Shopify is probably your primary channel, but you might have other channels like eBay or Etsy or Amazon or maybe even WooCommerce where you're promoting your uh, you know catalog of products. You just have different properties. And I think for print-on-demand people, this is super relevant for uh, platforms like Amazon or Etsy where you might be looking to kind of uh, expand your reach, especially on Amazon and Etsy, where you don't really need as much uh, or really any ad traffic at all, considering they're such a huge marketplace. So this is going to be a very valuable video for anyone that really wants to consider selling on multiple platforms. And I'm going to show you how to integrate with uh, this tool called Selbury. And it's basically the idea that you're going to be able to have multi-channel listings and have everything updated at once. So you're not going to have to worry about kind of going back and forth and managing inventory, managing orders. Um, you're going to be able to kind of do this all in one place. And they say you're going to be able to connect your online store to multiple marketplaces, synchronize listings and orders. So, you know, basically what it's going to be able to allow us to do is have one uh, uh, seller hub, right? One kind of admin over here at Selbury. And then we'll be able to connect to our different stores. Right? Shopify would be one. And uh, uh, I'll show you actually the whole list. Take a look over here and I'll walk you through this. But uh, these are some of the uh, platforms that they have. 50 different platforms out there, but Amazon... Uh, obviously, uh, Etsy, Shopify, eBay, uh, those are kind of the biggest ones. WooCommerce, uh, Magento, really less popular. But, uh, you know, definitely for, uh, you know, people inside my audience, Amazon, Etsy, Shopify, right? That's going to be the most relevant um, for you guys in terms of how to use this. So there's a bunch of different features in here, and I'll kind of go over the, uh, the most important ones, but you can definitely scroll through this site and kind of take a look of, uh, you know, exactly what's going on. But uh, this is really the biggest thing. You're going to be able to manage listings across different uh, different platforms. So you don't need to worry about your uh, Shopify dashboard, at, uh, Amazon dashboard, Etsy dashboard, uh, any other platform that you're using. You know, you're going to have everything all in that one spot. Um, it's not any extra charge if you're going to add any additional channels. So there's, uh, I think, 50 channels right now that are built in. Um, big thing for me, reason why I like this a lot, there's no code. Okay, you don't need to hire a developer. It's actually a really great visual system. Um, they call it an intuitive interface, but basically it's just like a drag and drop with like arrows. You literally say, okay, well, I want to connect Shopify, I want to connect, you know, Amazon or WooCommerce, and you literally just connect them, kind of like this, where there's an arrow connecting it. It's a nice visual editor, um, and uh, really, you know, this is why you want to use it, right? Automation, optimization, synchronization. The biggest deal here is that you sell a product over here. Uh, you update the inventory there. You sell a product over here, you fulfill it over there, right? And that's very relevant for Shopify, right? Especially when we have print-on-demand being our uh, kind of core uh, fulfiller, right? And uh, this would also work with drop shipping, but print-on-demand people are probably the most, uh, uh, most interested in, in this type of thing um, because it's going to allow you to keep your fulfillment. And that's so important, right? We have the automated fulfillment through print-on-demand, and Cellberry is going to allow us to uh, kind of keep that regardless of what platform um, we're in. So you see over here, automatically send selected orders to the correct fulfillment programs. So our fulfillment is uh, is going to be Shopify. Again, here's the different channels. And uh, let's go over the shoulder now, and I'll actually kind of show you uh, some of the back end here. Okay, I'm over the shoulder now here inside my Cellberry dashboard, and I have a project created. And uh, you see, uh, and I'll, I'll click into this in a second. This is actually making the connection between Shopify and WooCommerce. And uh, you can create a new project, obviously, at any time. And this would basically create a new integration, right? So I already have one set up, but... You would be able to create one at any time and just kind of create a new product and it's going to ask you pretty much to add a store and then start adding the channels that you want. So I've already kind of done that uh, and, and moved forward a little bit so we, I can show you the kind of important things here. And this is going to be taking products from Shopify and also allowing them to be listed inside of WooCommerce. And it's a really, really easy step through. And again, it's very, very visual, right? You see the, uh, the kind of line connection here. And, uh, you know, if there were more things, we could zoom out and have other connections as well. For example, we could have Amazon or Etsy and they could all be connected into Shopify. And again, that's important because this is where the fulfillment happens, right? Print on demand, all that automation happens over here. It doesn't happen in the other platforms. It's gonna happen here. So this is why we wanna focus on uh, uh, connecting to obviously Shopify. And you know, if whatever your home base is, right? I think for most of my people, it's gonna be Shopify, but whatever your home base is, is gonna be where you're gonna make the connections from. So uh, the idea here is that, you know, and I've already connected these and connecting them basically just means giving access to uh, uh, the stores or to the platforms for Celebrate. So I kind of skipped that part, but basically I've already connected and uh, uh, authenticated that, allowing it to log in you know, on my behalf and start downloading the products. So that's the first thing that we're gonna do. We're gonna take products from Shopify, we're gonna bring them over to, to WooCommerce, so we need to click download. And what's gonna happen is it's gonna come over here, it's gonna start downloading the products, and it's gonna actually, uh, it takes a, a second, it's gonna show 
the products uh, inside of Shopify and kind of import them here into Cellberry. You see now that we have 20 products here listed in terms of what they uh, were able to download from Shopify. And this is actually inside the, uh, uh, these, you know, these products, these 20 products exist inside of Shopify uh, literally right now. And I have the demo site on the other screen, but I'll bring it over once we uh, move everything. And now we see we have this push uh, feature. So we're going to push the products, basically saying we're going to push the products from Shopify to, obviously in this case, WooCommerce. So Shopify is pushing products, or at least Cellberry is pushing Shopify products somewhere. Where are they going to go? Well, obviously, they're going to come over here into WooCommerce. And what we need to do is map the products. Okay, so you see the export um, that we were able to get out of there. What we need to do now is map the products. Okay, mapping the products, and you'll see over here, it's basically the idea of just how we're going to connect uh, um, our, our Shopify products to our destination, in this case, WooCommerce. Right? Different things will have different options. Right, WooCommerce will have its own set of rules. Amazon will have its own set of rules. Etsy will have its own set of rules. Basically, what we need to do is figure out exactly what type of um, variants we want to uh, carry over. And Shopify has different variant names uh, and different variant setups that are basically the same. What we're doing here is just trying to match up the correct uh, uh, the correct items. Right, or the, I'm sorry, the correct variables. Like, uh, uh, for example, barcode. There might not necessarily be a barcode. Uh, variant in WooCommerce by name, but there's something else that does the equivalent. So we're pushing as much information as possible. Like, you know, here's a very basic one, SKU, right? SKU is going to be on both sides. We could push SKU over. We could push vendor over. We could push weight over. These are all the um, uh, product variables or that are already on Shopify that we're literally pushing over and now mapping into WooCommerce. Take a look at these, right? It's very obvious in terms of what we are mapping over. And I just want you to really understand this because this is the flexibility of Cellberry where we're able to take original information from one platform and move it over into a different platform. And, you know, if we were to just look for, let's say, the title variable, we wouldn't find it, right? This is the mapping part. Shopify title maps to WooCommerce name. Okay, Shopify images match to image. Source and position happen to be the same, but not always, right? SKU is the same. Draft maps with status. Okay, taxable maps with tax status. So we can't just use the same variables because WooCommerce doesn't understand them or Amazon or Etsy, whatever, they have their own set. So these rules basically make the connection and then place the variable or the data that we're connecting in the right spot. So we did our mapping. Now what we need to do is simply upload the products, right? We're literally taking the Shopify products and we're uploading them into WooCommerce or whatever your destination uh, um, uh, platform will be. Right? And you can have multiple platforms if you want. We're just going to come over here and press upload. And this takes a couple seconds because it's going to go and run through all of the uh, relevant information. So I'll just pause this video and come back uh, when it's done. It should really only be about 30 seconds. Okay, so now that it's done importing, I want to actually show you um, kind of, you know, uh, exactly how it works and, you know, what the, uh, the special sauce is here. So let me first bring over Shopify, right? Because Shopify was our base. And this is just a test site here that we use for testing. But we got our uh, little Shopify backend here. This exact product, right? Uh, cool summer plain T-shirt. This description uh, with these variants and the prices and the inventory, right? Thirty dollars was the set price here. And imagine that this is your print-on-demand shirt, right? This product is what got sent over into, in our example, WooCommerce, or it can get sent over into any platform that you want. And we didn't do any copy and pasting. We didn't, you know, uh, uh, add anything. Or, in fact, we didn't really even open up WooCommerce at all. Um, all we did was just do our little project connection here import map and then upload the products and what did that result in well that product is now live inside of our test woocommerce store and i'll show you that right so here's the exact same product cool summer plain uh, cool summer plain t-shirt 30 bucks took the exact same product description that we had in there and it literally moved it right over from shopify into woocommerce and it's literally that easy you could do that with all of your products Every single one of those 20 product catalog was sent over. If you had a thousand product catalog, it might take a couple more minutes, but you'd be able to send all those products over as well. And then you kind of get into some more of the advanced stuff as things come in. Order sync is literally the idea that orders come in at any place and they're fulfilled in that kind of base or your home base. So some other things in here, take a look at the billing in here. You could get your uh, free trial and then kind of get started with the paid plan. Highly recommend this. Uh, really great analytic system in here. Again, this is just a test account, but it's going to show you um, on a per project basis, your orders, your revenue, all of your important order stats. So this is really a, you know, a core place to kind of see all of your stats in one place. 
and uh, you can see the whole audit log here in terms of what's going on, what are all the products that are getting added, update your billing and all that great stuff. But again, highly recommend Cellberry. It's, it's really the best platform for making this connection to where you have one home base, Shopify, and want to sell on other channels. So please check it out. Uh, take a look at this video a couple times if you uh, really want to truly understand how Cellberry can help. But again, in, uh, in kind of the most basic form, what it's going to do is connect your online store, in this case Shopify, to multiple marketplaces, synchronize listings, synchronize fulfillment for print on demand, and allow you to manage everything from one place. So that's Cellberry. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions, please let me know, and I'll talk to you real soon.